Hello, Gemini singles. Let's see what's going on for you um, in your reading. If this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, when you do like the video, guys, you to push the videos through to a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. I miss my old intro. <laughs> I'm going to go back to it. Um, but if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. And also, guys, go over to the Instagram and support your girl as soon as I hit the 5K mark. I'll definitely start those free personal readings over there for you. All right. So let's see what the angels have for you, Gemini. Let's see what messages are going to come through. It could come. Anything could come through. Gemini singles, please, angels. What do you have for Gemini singles? Wow, your first card is a seven of swords. Okay, wow, there's some lies and betrayal here from someone, okay? I feel like this is a past energy with the seven of cups in reversed, okay? I feel like this is about this ten of pentacles, whether or not you want to keep this stable foundation um with everything that with everything else that's going on in your life i'm feeling like someone is lying to you there is word coming back to you gossiping is happening you're trying to find out what's going on here um i feel like it's going to take everything within you to do this the strength card is also appearing um gemini okay i feel like there is some kind of misdeeds going on here with the seven of cups in reverse this could actually be people that don't want the best for you honestly um people that are portraying to be something that they aren't um towards you like you could be surrounded with negative folks in your life acting like they want everything that's good for you in your life but when you turn your back um definitely they're acting like you don't even exist and whatever they said to you which was peace is exactly not what it appears to be so you need to watch yourself but for some of you this could be a past person coming in someone that lied to you um someone that cheated on you a lot and now you have to make a decision based on your family okay for those of you who are single you're trying to move on in your life and you're now you're finding out news you're hearing things and now you want the truth okay um you could be dealing with a leo here but also it doesn't have to be there's a lot of different elements like water you know earth signs as well but for now we're going to stick with leo since it's a major card that's shown itself i'm also seeing the five of cups here and i'm seeing the ten of swords in reverse and i feel like with everything going on i mean you feel like you're betrayed you feel like you regret giving this person your time, um, your energy, but I also feel like you're doing what's best for you. Um, I feel like, you know, you tried. This is what I'm hearing. Like you tried and it's just, it's just didn't work. You feel a little bit down on this. Um, for some of you, you feel like you're not going to try again. This is it for you. This is the last relationship that you're going to dive in. You're not going to dive in anything else. You're just like giving up on love, but the angels have a lot more experiences for you that you don't even see because you're so focused on what's going on now. Um, but I do see you protecting your mental health, you guys, and just letting things go here. Um, for some of you, even though people are whispering in your ear about this situation, um, you might be tempted to try to find out what's going on. Um, but you haven't yet. This is what I'm seeing in the Seven of Swords. It's like this lie. Like you're realizing everything has been based on a lie here. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So I'm seeing the Seven of Wands. Okay. The Two of Swords, the Stars, the Five of Swords, the justice and the world in reverse for you singles i feel like a lot of things that happened with this is not yet complete so this is why the situation is coming back because the truth needs to be unfolded here the truth needs to be out these lies and betrayal that happened with this person justice is on your side as you can see so you're going to have the clarity this is what's going on here you're going to have the clarity with this what really happened what took place for some of you this was an embarrassment for your friends and your family for you 
you know, this person just don't care. And I feel like this is something that happened before. This is what I'm getting with this energy. When it affects your family, it affects you. But you're trying to keep a positive outlook on things, even though it doesn't look um, very positive for you. But I'm also feeling like there's a lot to do with your faith and there's a, a lot to do with your strength and um, what do you believe in at this point moving forward because the angels want you to have strength, have faith within yourself because right now you're like, I don't see the hope, I don't see it happening, I don't see this coming together, I don't see this making sense and you need to change that way of thinking, okay? There is going to be peace coming to this. I feel like this person is going to lose everything. Everything is turning against this person as we speak. Everything is turning against this person. This is not landing in the this is not landing the way this person wants this to appear. This person was trying to control things. This person was trying to be guarded, but now the angels are watching. I feel like they've been watching with the universe here, you know, letting you know that you're not alone, but you feel alone. You have justice on your side. Karmic energy will land on this person's feet, on this person's door, because what they have done to you. And you know what I'm seeing also? Like this person is going to either come to you and tell you everything because everything is falling apart. It's like they lost everything. And you know what? If they're go if you're going to find out the truth about what they've been doing behind your back, it might, as well, it might as well come from them. This is what I'm hearing. So incomplete. Something is coming back towards you with this person, all right? For some of you, it could be dealing with a Libra. With the world here, it could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, a Aquarius, and a Scorpio. A Leo is also coming back here. Aquarius is also coming back here. So these two signs are um, doubled. So definitely a Leo or Aquarius, but we also have Leo here, Taurus, and Scorpio um, that's showing up, okay? So on the back of the deck, what you don't see coming, again, the Wheel of Fortune represents the same thing for me as a reader with the world here, all right? So there's a cycle here that happened. You're done with it. This is why you are releasing your energy from this person. This is why you're forgiven. This is why you're moving on. This is why you're closing chapters in your life because these things that you try and don't work out is taking too much of a toll for you. It's kind of like you're dealing with attachment issues. Like you need to dis de detach from this person, this person's energy, these person's energy. It could be set different people that's, you know, really negative in your um in your life right now it could be a family situation um for some of you who are not in love so just take what resonates and throw out the rest okay but i definitely feel like you are at the end is all me like you want something new because your 11 11 is showing in reverse and this is what you don't see coming so you don't even know that you're going to put an end to everything you know this is what it's looking like for the future but again the future is not set because everybody have their own situation and their own decisions everybody has freedom of will right so we have the 11 11 you don't feel like everything is on the right path the angels are trying to warn you and tell you like look you are on the right path don't worry, we have this. You're worrying too much in the star. All is well here. Leave it alone, right? So have faith. This is what I'm hearing. You know, this person is trying to, let me, well, I'm just going to say this person is not going to change their stripes, okay? With this ace of swords being here. So if you're thinking like this person is coming to you and telling you the truth, oh my God, they must have changed. No. They're coming in to tell you their side of things are the truth or what is the truth on their end. So whatever is coming towards you, at least they told you first, right? So this is what they're doing. There is no investment here, but I do see like this person and you love each other and they know it. And this is why they're coming back to give you another chance. Like you need this. They need it. But they know how you feel with the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. You understand? This could be a friend. But I feel like it's morally going towards someone from your past where you gave, like, this could be intimate, okay? This person is dramatic. <clears throat> they like, I feel like this person, I mean, they want a real chance with you. They're very, you know, kind and whatever. But I feel like, if they don't have their time with you or their way with you, it's like they pull things out of character, you know? 
and this is what I'm seeing. So this could be someone young that's coming towards you, um, but or they act young. But I feel like it's from like I'm getting like you guys know each other for a long time here. Like you're so comfortable around this person. And this is this is this this is the guilt because you're so comfortable around this person. You you just want it to work. And this is why the Ten of Pentacles is still in the upright. Because even everything is around you, you still are trying to like um keep everything together, you know, keep this this legacy together. This could be something that you guys built from childhood. This could be something if you guys are lovers that you built together, you know, you collaborated and built a life together, or built some kind of foundation together. But this is what I see for you. I hope it resonates, um, uh, Gemini singles out there. Um, I know this wasn't a lot, so I'm gonna just gonna include some messages before we go. Let's see if the angels have something for you when it comes to the energy deck. Thank you, angels. So I'm really hearing like be patient, be um, be aware because this person is coming. Um, be aware of you know what they put you through before, which was the mental and physical agony of this relationship. Oh, so a Karen connection is on the way. Again, I feel like this could be a Capricorn, um, Taurus, or a Libra energy. And we have Libra here. You know, this could be the same person. I feel like they want to be around you. Um, this person, I feel like is you're going to be surprised for some reason that this person, it might not be the same person because you're like surprised of how they're treating you here. So hold on, let's see. So there is going to be collaboration, um, celebration. There's going to be new people coming into your life and also um, new events. I feel like these people are going to probably introduce you to this person or bring this person forth into your life because I'm seeing possibly engagement too. So I don't feel like this is your past person. I feel like you're wrapping up loose ends here, um, ending chapters here with the Ten of Swords moving forward in your life. And because you're doing this, you know, and be careful with this person because, you know, they, ah, this is, to me, it's a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, possibly Scorpio, um, that you're dealing with, but you have a lot of love here still for this person. But with this picture, I just don't feel like you're sure of this person, like this is new and this is like, okay. Is this for real kind of energy? Because you're looking down on this. But I just feel like you're so comfortable with this person. So tell me more, please, angels. Tell me more. Contract. So it's going to be balanced back into your life. And be careful for things that you are getting yourself into. Yeah, okay. So... For some of you, I'm getting court issues. Justice are also here. Ten of Pentacles is here. Then I'm getting the contract um, card, okay? For those of you who are signing things blind because you care about this person because you want something good for this person. The angels are saying, be careful what you sign. Um, read first. Read the dotted line before you sign. There's a lot of hostility coming, a lot of jealousy, a lot of deceit coming because of your newfound relationship that's what i thought because i felt like this is something new you know it's going to be a journey that you're going to be taking um that is going to bring you to this person um i feel like you're taking a journey on on, on yourself maybe you're starting to journal your experiences so be aware you guys of what's going to happen here because i'm seeing a past energy that you love even still, you have a lot of love for it, but there is a lot of um, anxiety behind this, a lot of lies, a lot of betrayal, a lot of things that you just don't know. And be careful for what you're signing as well. This is what I'm hearing because there's new love and engagement coming towards you 
guys out there all right and there's going to have to i mean you know it's unfortunate that your past is going to have a limbo with your future because there's going to be a silly jealous envious people around you that want this to fail and that includes your past because i feel like this person you haven't told them to kick the curves and don't don't ever come back and i don't love you any more more and more this is what i'm hearing you, they still know that you love them, that you want them, that you've been waiting for them to present this to you. So you have a decision to make. Love you guys. Um, remember to like the video if it does resonate. Um, YouTube just push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. And thank you guys for 45K. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Love you guys. <laughs> And also, guys, um, the link will be in the description box for your playlist uh, singles. And also go over to the Instagram and support your girl, all right? Um, as soon as we hit the 5Ks, we're going to start the free personal reading over there as well. Um, can't wait to start that journey with you. And I'll see you guys in your bonus. Bye, guys.